Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video, we're going to be doing a Kong Pao chicken. Kong Pao chicken. Using a wok in the Weber Master Touch. So Richard, talk us through what we need to do for this dish. Starting on our left, your right, we have our chicken breast that's marinated with soy, white wine, and a little bit of corn flour. Um, we're gonna cook that off in the wok, and then we're gonna add in some pureed garlic and some chopped red pepper. Then we put our sauce in. Uh, the sauce has a collection of the ingredients here. So we have some soy sauce, we have hoisin sauce, some sesame oil, uh, garlic, chili paste, um, cider vinegar, and a little bit of chicken stock that we've just loosened down. Um, and then we're gonna cook that down, make sure the chicken's nice and cooked through using our temperature probe. And then when we take that out, we're gonna remember to garnish this time. So we've got our garnish, which is our freshly sliced spring onions and our, our chopped peanuts as well. So. I think we're ready to go over. The barbecue's preheated. We've got the GBS in the master touch, so we've taken the disc out of the center. Do this on your gas barbecue as well. For this one, we've got the baskets just a little bit in towards the, um, the wok, not underneath directly, but just into the side, because at some point we're gonna need to just, we might just need to move those out a little bit. So first things first, a little bit of cold pressed rapeseed oil in. If you swirl around the top of the wok, around the top edge, it will all run down and you'll get a nice coating on your wok as opposed to just popping it in the, in the very, very center. So that goes in. Whenever adding anything to a hot pan with oil, just tip the dish away from you. Just gonna move that round in the wok. Make sure that's nice and uh, coated with some oil as well. And then just to help that cook a little bit, you can judge based on the size of the pieces of chicken and the heat of your barbecue whether you need to put the lid down just as we've done or whether you can just continue with the cooking process. But because of the size of these chicken pieces, just pop the lid down, leave it down for about 20 to 30 seconds and then we'll go back in and we'll have another check. So we've had a 30 second just extra cook on that, turn those pieces of chicken over, make sure that they're nicely cooking away. Then we're going to just make a little bit of room in the bottom of the wok, pop our garlic in. We want to cook that out a little bit, just so that we take that edge off the garlic. Then the peppers go in, tumble those around, get the juices, coat in those pieces of pepper, and then again, we pop the lid down. Give those another half minute, then we'll come back and add our sauce. So, time for the sauce. So, chicken's in, then the garlic and the, ginger, the, garlic and the pepper. Now we pop our sauce in. Quite a, um, it's quite a watery sauce is this one, and it just has that, time, it just needs that time to thicken up. What it's also gonna do, whenever you're cooking food in a wok, things are gonna stick, but it's just using the edge of that spoon, or your wok ladle or whatever it is, just to keep that, those, those sticking bits, just, um, just keep moving them around, keep moving them off the bottom of the wok. If, you're, if your food sticks to the wok, it's not a good thing. So just give it a, you want a nice clean wok, so just keep using the edge of the spoon just to, just to scrape those little bits off, get them back into the sauce. We're gonna leave that now uh, until that chicken reaches 75 degrees. If the sauce starts to reduce a little bit too much, we'll add a little bit of water just to keep it from burning, but we will just keep an eye on that and take it off in a moment. Right, let's have a look at this. So just, again, just mind those edges. As the sauce reduces down, it's gonna cling to the wok. You don't want those to burn. So we'll just have a little check. Where are we at? 72, 74, 75. Let's have a look at that one. 72, 78. Good to go. Okay, so if you want to take that across to the workstation for me. Yep. That'd be great. And then, just get a face full of steam. There you go. You don't need to go to the spa now for your facial. There we go. Just shows how good the Weber gloves are. That I just just now That's starting to feel. That's quite toasty hot, is that yeah. one? So, right, let's go. A little bit of spring onion and some peanuts. Look at that. Quite happy with that. Yep. That looks really good. I sound surprised. <laughs> you should try this. Do tasting forks. Oh, there's only we one. We could do. We've no. There's more. They've been replied. <laughs> So I'll let you tuck in while I do the outro. Yeah, I'll give you one of those. All right, thank you. Got it. Let's 
I'll let you taste it first. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of sauce. So if you want to find out about the recipe mm. for this dish, visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. It's in the blog section of the website. If you want to find out about any of the equipment we've used today, visit the team here at the barbecue shop and we'll be able to help. Uh, nice. Mm. You're not going to say it's disgusting. Should really try those. It's <laughs> really good. Nice, uh, quick, talking. simple dinner, any nice of the week. Really quick in the wok. Cast iron has that absorption, the heat retention. Absolutely. Really good. Mm. So all that's left for us to say is thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.